What's up, heathens? How ya doing? Today we're going over comments, but first we gotta go over the winner from last week, the Halloween special. So last week's Halloween winner was this dipshit right here. <laughs> yes, the person that thinks all of these things are part of witchcraft or demony shit. If you happen to pick this one from last week, then you win a million god points. Remember, these God points are a lot like expecting Trump to tell the truth. He won't. Last month, he told over 1,100 lies or misleading statements. Don't forget to vote for your dumbass today. Speaking of dipshits, first we learn about fishes that fake it, then I get some constructive criticism about how to debate people. This one comment is just yelled the entire time. One guy doesn't understand Bayesian analysis. I educate a flat earther on how a vacuum can exist next to an atmosphere. Steve Bauman gives me a backhanded compliment. And somebody tries to tell me who I can and cannot respond to. So if any of these comments interest you, then please stay tuned. y'all doing good let's get on into the response shit <laughs> today hold on i gotta come up with a little little ditty for this today i learned today i learned female brown trout will fake orgasms when courting with inferior males she will give all of the right visual cues as if about to release eggs for fertilization but doesn't because she's a Bitch. The male will frantically ejaculate, not notice he's been duped, and swim away. Well, see, that's that's why you gotta know you gotta know who you're fucking in order to know whether or not she's actually doing it, because you can tell. That's me assuming that Casey's never, you know, faked it. Alright. Next on today I learned. You know, I don't know, being in the South, being somewhere where it's hot a lot, this seems to be like common sense, but it's good to have scientific like research done on it. Harvard study finds that uh, during heat waves, people can't think straight. The test results showed that during the heat wave, students without air conditioning experience decreases across five measures of cognitive function. Now, I don't know if you guys have been like in the south or any anywhere where it's been in the near triple digits or even in triple digits motherfuckers don't think at all M motherfuckers don't don't think about shit this seems like a duh kind of situation but it's always good to have science to back you up and shit like studies done that show that it's not just you experiencing some dumbasses on a hot day <sighs> and finally for the today i learned a scottish woman named maggie dixon was sentenced to execution by hanging on on the 2nd of September, 1724, she survived the hanging and climbed out of her coffin as it was being transported, flipped both fingers, said fuck you to the courts, and uh, the courts ruled that she was a free woman as the punishment had been carried out, known after as Half Hang It Maggie. Half Hang It Maggie. That sounds, I mean, that sounds like it refers to something sexual. I don't know. Maybe that's me. Anyways, so that's Today I Learned. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have your own Today I Learned, please feel free to tweet me on the Twit Twatters. I would love to hear all the things that you learned. Like this week, I learned that Drek means rubbish or trash. So no longer will I be talking to pure Drek on my channel. Uh, so this is on my much coveted anti-theism discussion I had with the distributors this week. <laughs> This is one of the tamer comments. The retardation levels are high in you, godless engineer. It looks to me as though you are a fake godless, a fraud intellectual. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why why he thinks that I claim to be an intellectual. I mean, I'm obviously a hick that loves to drink beer and shit on religion. So, I mean, I never claim to be an intellectual, but I do try to just know shit in general. <laughs> this is one I think maybe KC <laughs> clued me in on, or maybe not not this one but it's another one that i have also this is on the reds rhetoric video <laughs> earbud warning everybody earbud warning let me go ahead and do this shit before it actually fucks up hey godless engineer you grossly overweight scraggly bearded more than likely smelly
Not bad. Girls are appalled to buy me. Are appalled by, okay. Girls are appalled by me. No life whatsoever, but to produce videos along with this NASA cock sucking whore known as Red's Rhetoric to keep the mind controlled, programmed and indoctrinated puppet heads trapped in their reinforced manufactured reality. Fucked up ellipses. Cause he doesn't know how to fucking write. Explain to everyone how the vacuum of space can exist next to the non-vacuum of earth without a barrier so basically you add a little bit of gravity to a large object and it's able to hold an atmosphere by holding that atmosphere as you get to the further reaches of the upper atmosphere it will be even less and less of an atmosphere because gravity has a much less effect on the atmosphere particles a sort of fuzzy boundary out there the atmosphere can actually you know be flung off into space or be uh um knocked off by solar winds or whatever the fuck. That's how you have an atmosphere next to a quote unquote vacuum. Vacuums don't suck. They just don't have anything in them. But space is, is not exactly a vacuum because there's still stuff there. Don't even attempt to give me that bullshit response that gravity is that barrier. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't give you that response. I didn't say gravity was the barrier. I said gravity was the thing that holds our atmosphere onto the earth. And because gravity is it, I explained to you why the atmosphere is kind of has a fuzzy border and why the atmosphere is just stuck on the earth, I guess. I mean, I didn't say it was a barrier. Now go order a large cheese pizza with everything and continue to get even fatter than you already are. Honey, how did he know we had pizza tonight? Here's a suggestion for you. Invest in a full length mirror and observe how disgusting you look. Trust me, I do that every morning. Maybe that will snap you out of the delusional world you live in. It really doesn't. As far as Red's rhetoric, hey NASA Shill, you know and I know that the Mars rover is on Devon Island in Canada. That's a new one. I've never heard that one. That's interesting. I'll have to look that up. Devon Island. God, if there's a bunch of kangaroos there and flying monkeys, I'm just going to shit myself. Although I think there is some merit to the mythicist argument, using a Bayesian calculator to determine the truth to any debate is rid ridiculous. R ridiculous. It can be used to twist. It, it's Latin. He's being sophisticated and shit. <laughs> it can be used to twist any debate to one side ought the other. In that regard, it's useless. Just look at Blake Jewett's. I probably misspell his last name. Fuck, yeah, probably, because it's spelled with a G, actually. Arguments for the existence of Jesus using the same method. Well, you see, here's the thing, is that you can misuse other mathematical principles or theorems or whatnot and get answers that aren't correct. I mean, you've been in a math class where you've misused some kind of function and got the wrong answer, right? People can use shitty information to get the wrong answer in almost anything. So just because somebody misuses Bayesian, analysis in order to say that Jesus did exist. That just means that they are, are saying that there's some evidence out there that's more compelling because of bad information. So I, I, I'm going to have to take a look at Blake's analysis of it because I can guarantee you that he thinks that Jesus raising from the dead is way more probable than him just, uh, uh, you know, being dead in, in a cave. Um, I would suspect that he puts a lot more evidence on stuff like Tacitus and Josephus. So you just, you have to carefully look at how they're actually applying the method. This applies to mythicists too. And so Bayesian, Bayesian analysis isn't useless, but I mean, people like him want to say that. Also, what I would like to say about that is that historians have always used Bayesian analysis. They just didn't know that they were. There's actually a really great study out right now where a guy uses Bayesian analysis to analyze how we went from um, believing that Genesis, the, the first five books of the Bible, Bible are completely and utterly true to, oh, they're all fake. Like he did an analysis of that and he came to the conclusion that how the theory or how the hypotheses like track through time followed Bayesian analysis perfect. What a bunch of whoppers you space freaks are. Practically demonstrated bendy curvy bodies of water. Practically demonstrate creating a pressure system without a sealed container next to a vacuum. The globe is dead. Chomps. <laughs> so, I mean, the earth is 
is a perfect example of it, but I mean, you could also go to like uh, Jupiter or um, Mars has a little bit of an atmosphere. Venus uh, has an atmosphere. Go to any of those places and you will be able to to see like an atmosphere existing next to a quote unquote vacuum. Vacuums don't suck. They, they just are, are there. We have when we create vacuums here on Earth, we have to suck shit out of it because w- what we're doing is we're creating a pocket inside of an already existing like fluid. So we're just we're creating it. So, I mean, we've got to evacuate everything in there to create that pocket. That's what they don't understand. Godless engineer. Distributist is a very reasonable guy in generally. Your comment section is filled with people who must have watched a different debate. I'm surprised Distributist managed to remain as calm as as did. And I say that as an anti-theist. Well, here's here's the thing that I really learned is that I need to figure out who I'm actually going to be talking to. Because if I knew the Distributist was a guy that would just interrupt me whenever because he's going to be a dick on his channel and not know how to have a conversation. See, here's the thing is that if you don't know how to have a conversation, then I'm just not going to talk. I mean, it's really that simple because there's no way to have a conversation in that situation. If people actually want to learn how to have conversations, meaning that I say shit, then you say shit. I say shit, you say shit. And you don't interrupt and talk over people, then I will have a conversation with you. I have no problems with that. But it is a pretty big trigger for me when people start talking over me like that so so yeah i lost my shit and it went kind of downhill from there and i really should have stopped way before that. and i really don't care if you're an anti-theist and you think i did horrible i'm fine with that failure is how you learn to do better steve bauman not not just a cool dude kind of like ge except not fat and more articulate just fucking with you ge seriously not jaw is much cooler damn what a what would have slapped and then, oh, hey, man. And then a backhanded slap came back with it. Fuck. <laughs> Chosen one said, vacuum equals vacuum cleaner. Therefore, it should suck. <laughs> that, that's that's not exactly it's not exactly it. <laughs> the vacuum cleaner creates a vacuum inside of it. And the pressure difference between the outside and the inside is what causes the suction. So, yeah, that's that's not how that works. So this is uh, Ratimir Knezevic. He says, he's obviously mentally retarded, man. I think it's wrong to make fun of such people, although I must admit that is pretty funny. Okay, so I don't just automatically su- assume people are retarded unless it becomes painfully obvious. Just because somebody acts or talks a certain way, I don't just automatically assume they're a troll or they have some kind of learning disability. I don't do that. So if somebody's going to make a video and put it up and claim a bunch of stuff, then I feel like I have free room to respond to it. Unless it's pretty painfully obvious that they do have some kind of mental disability, uh, then I probably wouldn't. But it would take me having like actual knowledge that they were that. Thank you, heathens, for making it to the end. Have you left your vote for the dumbass this week? No? Go down there right now and leave your vote for this week's dumbass. While you're down there, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of dumbass content. If you want to become part of the Skeptic Mafia, don't forget to hit that join button too. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice. Bye, heathens.